Hello and welcome back to the unboxers and today we have for you a new action figure and it is Sinestro from from McFarland Toys and I was gonna say from the DC multiverse yes um, and he is um, a collector's edition figure yeah, this is one of their new collectors um, McFarland collector edition figures so that the um, trading card um, or the yeah the collector card is gonna come with um, a stand um, as well, um, you know, to, to display it. And it has the DC logo on it, which is cool. Um, it looks like he's going to come with his own lantern. Yes. And then a couple extra um, little... Some kind of energy. Energy. Grapples. Something. Yeah, hands reaching yeah. out to grab. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the side or the back of the box. <laughs> okay, it says... Sinestro Core War. There you go. And then, whoa! He looks really disturbing on here. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your hair, dude? Um, and uh, that's pretty cool. Like, um, comic book. He's Is this comic book version of him? Yes. So, like a comic book um, illustration on the back there. And you will have that as well on your collector card. So, let's go ahead and get Sinestro out of this box and give you a closer look. We'll be right back. All right, so there's... Sinestro. Out of the box. So let's go ahead and take a look. So it's going to come with um, the stand with a DC embossed, and it's going to be silver um, since it's a collector edition with the peg. Um, as you can tell, he can stand up without it. He's like, I don't need a stand. <laughs> but anyway, it does make it nice if he's um, displayed on a shelf or something. You want to have a little more, more stability yeah. um, if you're walking by or whatnot. Um, but here's the collector card. Here's the base with the silver DC as well. And then the collector card just slides in like this. Let's take a look. Here's the front, which resembles the, which is the artwork from the back of the box and the gold, I mean the silver um, overlay yeah, right like there. Foil embossing, I like that. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. I just like, that's a nice touch that they have. That, that is a nice cards. touch, that's awesome. And it's on the back as well. And on the back. So you have his data file on the back and you can read all about Sinestro. Um, and then it has the, like I said, it slides in right here. And then that way it kind of keeps your card nice and up and on display. So if you display it on a shelf or in a case, you can put that right beside it. And that is a really nice thing to have along yeah. uh, for collectors. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. So, ta-da! Here's Sinestro. I feel like I need to show this off because... <laughs> Um, look, that's cool. You can wrap the energy thing kind of around him, and then you get all these coming off of there, which is a really nice touch. And then he does have his lantern in the other hand, which is really nice as well. Uh, let's take a look at this nice pink, pinky purple facial sculpt. Um, there you go. He's been holding his breath too long. I'm just going to move it like that so you can see. And there he is. And then here's the symbol on his chest. And then it's almost like, um, it's almost, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a sheen, like a very shiny yellow. Yeah. Almost gold, but not quite. So it's in between like a regular yellow and a gold. It's got that shine to it, uh, metallic shine to the yellow. Yeah, I can't tell if the, I can't tell if the camera's picking it up, but like at least like on the, on this part of him, okay. not the, yeah, you know, but like this, whatever the texturing is, yes, that it has on this, it really makes it feels like it really picks up the light. It does, um, yeah, and gives it like that that cool like metallic or shimmery look to it. It really does, um, and then he's got the silver coming along the belt. Um, he's got the the bottom, uh, like the bottom of the V that's um, uh, coming down, so you can see he also has gold boots. Um, and these are more golden than anything. They're like that shimmery look to the top, but without um, the texturing. Um, he's got those around his um, forearms as well. Um, he definitely looks not very happy. There he is from the back, and there's his awesome ears. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let John show off his articulation. All right, so he's going to have articulation at the neck, so he can turn side to side. Uh, he can look up um, the the collar will kind of keep him from looking down but 
up will probably be more important since he is a flying character. Uh, he does have the double butterfly shoulder, so he will have great range of motion at the shoulders. And of course it will also rotate um, as well as all the other directions it goes. He has the bicep swivel, the double elbows, and the dual wrists, so they will rotate uh, and depending on how you have it they will bend as well as rotating he has two points in the torso one at the waist and then one mid torso which will allow him like greater um, twisting and um, posing he has articulation at the hips and it will go front to back as well as side to side he has the double knees and the uh, ankles um, actually have like three points. They will rotate, uh, pivot, and roll. So it will get great range of motion to help him keep him flat footed. And then he also has the toe articulation. So if you want like walking poses or something for him. So very cool. Awesome to add Sinestro to our McFarlane Toys collection. Can't wait for him to go up against one of our Green Lanterns. All right, so there's one last look at... Sinestro. From? From the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Collector Edition. Yes, he does look awesome. So thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.